All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house. And today I've got the Arno Bernard Wrinkles up for a quick review. Um, this is a beautiful slip joint made in uh, South Africa by Arno Bernard. And this is gonna cost you around $500 because it's just beautifully made. Uh, so it's not a cheap one, but it's uh, just fantastic. I, I'm, I'm, I really love uh, this guy. Uh, this is uh, a, uh, an overall quite small knife. Uh, you know, in the close position is gonna be um, uh, 3.7 inch long. and overall length is going to be 6.5 with a, a blade of 2.8 uh, inches uh, this is a, this version is um, with the warthog tusk um, uh, inlays beautiful you know very very nice accent over here so it's not completely white but this it just shows that's a natural material scales are uh, sunblasted titanium nicely put together very simple construction you know like a nice uh, decorated pivot over here and uh, you're gonna have you know a nice uh, nice blade as well uh, pretty small uh, compact but beautiful hollow grind with that nice uh, polish to it you know and beautiful um, you know belly here very very nicely designed uh, it has a, a hollow grind and um, the um, steel employed is RWL34. So uh, there's no lock uh, in this slip joint, but you have a beautiful walk and talk. I mean, the sound this guy makes, it's pure class. Uh, you know, very, very nice sound. It's quite loud, but I, you know, I think this translates uh, into quality 100%. Uh, the weight of this guy is like three, uh, 2.3 ounces and um, you know it has a very uh, nice I mean functional clip N not a fan of this guy because you know it reminds me like the Sebenza clip which I'm not a fan of um, but it's absolutely functional so design wise I would have uh, preferred something nicer but uh, functional uh, functionally is, is just great so it's just gonna work uh, fit and finish of this one it's just stellar i don't see any gaps there's nothing moving you know it's solidly built it's just beautiful i love it the um grip is a little bit on the small side because you know it's kind of small you have a little bit of hot spot um for the uh, clip uh, uh, ramp but nothing too crazy there's a little bit of jimping going on so you're gonna have a little bit more secure grip when holding this guy but if you just use like a little recessed position like that you're not gonna feel uh this uh, point digging into your hand overall the action is quite smooth you know it's um, the detent is very strong the springy uh, there's a nice springy action over here and uh, you know it's gonna be an overall S slow knife to deploy but you're gonna be rewarded by the overall smoothness and robustness with which this guy is built so uh, very very interesting blade and uh, if you want to know more please uh, check out uh, my full-length review uh, but thanks for watching and stay tuned